Late on the afternoon of Wednesday, September 13th, 1862, Colonel John Irwin, commander of the 3rd Brigade, ordered Major Thomas Hyde and the 7th Maine Infantry Regiment to advance out across the sunken road to attack Confederate sharpshooters defending the Piper Farm in the distance down over the slope here. The sharpshooters were raising havoc with a six-gun Union artillery battery off to my right, and Irwin wanted the Mainers to go down, drive the sharpshooters off. Hard, Hyde vehemently protested, pointing out that his very weak regiment would be advancing totally unsupported into Confederate-held territory. Irwin more or less called Hyde a coward, so Hyde formed his men up and call him marched them out across the sunken road. This is not it ahead of me. This is a park service road. He recalled how his horse stepped on the Confederate dead and wounded and were stacked up three or four layers deep in the sunken road. The Mainers crossed this open terrain under com Confederate fire. By now, Hyde was losing men right and left. His engine went down at one end of the lane one end of the line, excuse me. And off to the right, you can see the traffic on the Hagerstown Road, which is Route 65. Confederates hidden behind a stone wall over there were sniping away at the Mainers. And Confederate artillery, some distance away, was also shelling them. Hyde had stretched his men out in line by now. They're advancing in this direction probably not along this specific path. And as they come out on the edge of the high ground, the Confederates really let them have it. Hyde kept advancing, and his men did reach the Henry Piper Farm, which still adjoins the battlefield today. It's privately owned, not open to the public. And as you can see, the land is still farmed off to my right fence in is a beef critter pasture. And in the distance, center right, excuse me, center left, you can see the farm buildings. Once the uh, Confederates ejected the 7th Maine from the farm, Hyde withdrew his men back to Union lines. He brought 181 men to Antietam that night, Hyde sat down and cried. He would report 12 men killed, 63 men wounded and recovered, and 16 men missing, all of them enlisted men. He believed that Colonel Irwin was drunk as a skunk. It turned out to be true, and Irwin was sacked of his command within a day or two. But his drunken command created a lot of widows, and orphans in the Kennebec, in the state of Maine.